We already know that prepositions are used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases in our sentence. We have prepositions of time, place, and movement. Let's say someone asks you, Del cuando tu ya nace? And we answer, Yo nací yo del Julio 4, 1982. Here, our preposition is del, while on has a different translation in Spanish, Chabacano used del as the preposition on or in. The same preposition is used when we answer the question, Kosa anyo tu ya nace? Which we answer, Yo nací yo del 1982. And also, when we answer the question, Kosa ora tu ya nace? Ya nace yo exacto a las dos del aga. You would also use na as our preposition on several situations. First, when pertaining to a specific day of the week. Example, pabor va papel y lapis na lunes. Second, when pertaining to a specific month or season. Like, el celebración ay sucede na día de Pascua. Conversa ele contigo na febrero. Third, when referring to a specific year in the future. Like, I visita ele na año 2020. And fourth, after a certain period of time. Example, ay kusina ele na un ora. These are another set of prepositions in reference to time. Antes means before, durante means during, while después means after. Example, yung nasiyo dos minutos antes de mi hermano. Tabayla ele durante el tiempo y alega si Jenna. Yan nasiyo después el eleksyon. Here are some more examples. Tiene lang kita un hora antes sale el sol. Ay tiene celebrasyon después el parada. Durante el caliente mga meses, el mga playa lleno de gente. Additional prepositions of time are desde, which means since, por, which means for, pasado, which means past, hasta, which means until, and mga, as a preposition, means by. Here are their usages. Noy mas lebira desde amuri su tata. Taskribi ele mga libro por 10 años ya. Kalyaga ele pasado medianoche. Nabakasyon ele hasta na miyerkoles. Ay liyama ele ko natun duwego mga las dos y media. A preposition of place is a preposition which is used to refer to a place where something or someone is located. There are only three in the English language which are in, at, and on. The equivalent of all these three are na in Chavacano. Let's look at the following examples. Si Paulo talya na ventana. Si Paulo talya na kwarto. Si Paulo talya na entablado. The sentence construction will be the same on all three. The difference will be on the object of the sentence. It gives the idea where the subject is at that moment. Let's go back to the examples. For si Paulo talya na ventana. Ventana means window. So this means Paulo is at the window. For si Paulo talya na kwarto. Kwarto means room or in Chavacano it usually means the bedroom. So this means Paulo is in the bedroom. The last one, si Paulo talya na entablado. Entablado is stage. So this means Paulo is on the stage. Here's another example. Takeda yo na kalye sa koro na un apartamento na tercer piso. Encima is used when the subject is on top of a certain object. Example, El gato ta dormi encima del television. Abajo, on the other hand, is used when the subject is located below or under an object. Example, El balde abajo del lavabo. Other prepositions of place are Para na, which means towards. Sale na, which means from. Nakostaw, which means beside. Na medio, or entre medio which is between, adelante, which is in front of, na detras, which means the back of, cerca, which means near, lejos, means far. Let's review these examples. Ele pa para na casa. 
Este mga comida ya sale na Mercedes. Si Juana talya na postal del tanque de agua. El bola na medio del dos fono. Or we can also say, el bola entre medio del dos fono. Tasi yo se kapo ng mga kamisa adelante del casa. Tahuga el mga bata na detrás del casa. El ambulansya te espera cerca na entrada. El policía lejos na eksena del crimen. Prepositions of movement is somewhat similar to prepositions of place. This preposition denotes that there is movement in our subject. Let's look at the following examples. Para dentro is into. This is in the context of getting into an enclosed space. Example. Si Emmer ya kamina pa dentro del casa. Pa fuera could be two things. It can be out of, which is in the context of getting out of a space. Example. El perro ya brinca pa fuera del tama. Or the other one, going out of an enclosed space, like, Calmado ya kamina le pa fuera del casa. Alrededor is around. Example. El coche ya bira alrededor del poste. Lejos is away from. Example. Yesconde sila con el evidencia lejos na polisya. Para na is towards to. Example. Tamaneha ele su motor para na trabaho. Pasado is past. Example. Yamaneha ele pasado con el checkpoint sin parada. Encima is on to. Example, yasalta ele encima del silla. It is also used as the word above. Example, el gato yasalta encima del mesa. Abajo is under. Example, el culebra yan kamang abajo del silla. Por medio means through. Example, el agua tapore por medio de tubo. Subi is go up. Example, si Romeo ya subi na escalera. Abaha, on the other hand, means go down. Example, si Jenny abaha na escalera. Hey, it's Chris. Check out other episodes about Travacano. Like this one, mga parte del cuerpo. And make sure to subscribe so you won't miss a single episode. See you next time.